Good morning. We're out here in the Christmas garage, Christmas shed. I don't know what you call it. But uh, today I want to do something a little bit different for y'all. Um, when I was a kid, it's probably come pretty true to most of Christmas boys. Um, the only way we know how to see how things work is tear them apart. And if you tear things apart and study them, you just about know how they work. And then when they break, you can pretty near fix them. And uh, there's a phrase that's been going around for a right good while. It's uh, the old phrase, balls to the wall. Well, balls to the wall have nothing to do with the, <clears throat> neither does it. <clears throat> Both expressions mean working at maximum effort or speed. Centrifugal governors have balls. James Watt discovered the most widely known centrifugal governor in 1788 to prevent his steam engines from running out of control. That's what it looks like on the computer. You know I'm not making this stuff up. Now, if you would really like to uh, see what one works like, let's go to my tool cabinet and see what we can find. You know I got just about everything in this shed. I wonder if we got a steam engine with governor balls on it. steam engine and uh, I don't know if you can get in close here and look there's the governor balls and as these balls as this motor picks up speed these balls sling out and as they sling out they move this governor rod that cuts off the pressure to the engine to slow it down just like your governor do in your car it cuts the fuel to air off and slows it down now how many would you like to see this run? Well, I'm in for it. I love to watch them run. But steam engines are only run by pressure. Whether it's pressure from steam or pressure from anything else. So I use air because air is more friendly. Compressed air is more friendly than steam. If you put steam to them, they're made out of brass and stuff. They won't rust, but they still there's components on them that will uh, rust. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to step out and turn my air compressor on because we need some air pressure. This is my intake right here. This little thing here is the stack. So we're going to put, ease that down over there like that. And let's go over here and, and ease up on the air pressure just a little bit and see what happens. Then they're going to take a little bit. They ain't going to take too much to get her going. There you go. Well, maybe I can ease that over to you a little bit. That's a, a neat little toy. And you can't hear it on there. But I can hear it. She's choking just like an old steam engine. We got her a twist tie right here. There ain't much you can't fix with a twist tie, duct tape, and a little WD-40 or PB blaster or whatever you want to call it. But we're going to put that on there and... Squeeze her up tight. There we, there we go. Now we got the old girl running pretty good. And uh, if you look at them, I just love seeing stuff like that run. And there's little holes right here. I'm going to put a little on there. And put a little in there. And put a drop down here. And drop there. And here, drop, there, drop, everywhere, drop, drop. Oh, here's kind of hard to get in there. But, uh, okay, she's running right there. I, I got the governor. And over here on this side, I don't know if you can see it or not. This is actually a water pump. And the old steam engines had to have water in the boiler all the time. So this thing here would build up pressure and squirt a certain amount of water in the boiler to keep it from 
uh, run her dry because if she runs dry, she's going to uh, melt something. And uh, I've did that before on my other little steam engine. But uh, I'm going to turn this around like this. And I'm going to give her some things. If you can watch, watch those balls. They'll spring out pretty much if she picks up feed. And she will. Here we go. There they go. See them coming up right there? That motor run the top speed. And it will actually, uh, it's not, uh, you can stop it, but if you hold your fingers on it, it'll make them warm from friction. And, uh, it just needs, this is my bigger one. I got a smaller one. We'll get out someday, but this is one I wanted to tell you about the balls to the wall. These centrifugal balls, as they swing out, they move this little rod right here that works the governor. And as they go up, they cut the air pressure off. But then, you get so much air pressure, it'd be like a diesel running. Uh, if you don't cut the air off on a diesel, if she's getting fuel, she will run away. And uh, a steam engine ain't nothing but a regular engine, but it's run with pressure of uh, steam or air, or whichever you want. And uh, it's kind of neat. This is what they call a Stewart engine. They actually come from overseas, and uh, I've landed up with two of them. Both of them were uh, pretty rough shape. People didn't really realize what they had, and uh, I had to take them all apart and clean them up. And uh, I actually machined this little belt pulley here for this one. And uh, here's the belt that runs the, picks the speed up off your crank, and transfers it over to this thing, which has been in the balls, that actually worked this governor right here to cuts it off and on. And up, here's your exhaust. If I cover up my exhaust, it's going to stop. See that? It stopped. Well, it actually blowed the hose off. But if we put the hose back on, you'll start right back up. And uh, well, I hope you all enjoyed this. Just remember, if you take care of your stuff and you know how it works, a lot of times if it starts giving trouble, you can fix it before she goes to the bed. And uh, I just like toys. I'm nothing but a big baby. I like toys. And uh, we'll catch you later. Bye-bye.